folks and welcome to another computer science video and um, this one is about Huffman compression. Huffman compression is a lossless data compression algorithm um, which is uh, commonly used with things like zip files um, and I'm going to demonstrate to you how that works. So we're going to imagine that we have got some text that we want to uh, encode so All right, so we've got this she sells seashells. We're going to compress that data. Okay, so we can imagine, because we know that we need at least seven bits for every letter, that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. A beautiful round number. Twenty characters times seven which just gives us 140 bits to store that data. Okay, so we want to compress that down. So how do we go about doing it? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to draw like a frequency table with each letter um, So we've got S one, two, three, four, five six we've got h which is occurs twice we've got e which occurs one two three four times space is one two three s we've done e we've done l one two three four Uh, and then we've just got A, which is 1. Okay. So what we now do is we draw a series of nodes um, across the bottom of the screen. Okay, so I'm going to get a new whiteboard pen. One second. Okay, uh, so... Uh, we'll start off by um, just having our lowest nodes on the left. So we've got so the lowest frequency is A1. Then we've got H2. Then we've got space 3. And then we've got L and E are both 4. And then we've got uh, S, which is six. So what we do is we start to combine nodes now. So we go to A, H, three. Okay. So you might say that now we need to look at the next two lowest. So the next two lowest are A, H, three and space three so we combine those space a h six okay and now our two lowest nodes are l4 and e4 so we combine those to l e8 and now our two lowest nodes are s6 i'm just going to move that over here actually all right, and A, and so we combine these, S, space, A, H, 6, and then we, and then we finally combine everything together to get S, space, A, H, L, E, 20. Sorry, that should be 12. All right, so that's what we end up with. We end up creating this kind of diagram, this tree diagram. And this is essentially what the Huffman tree is. And now what we do is we allocate some binary pathways. So this becomes 0 and this becomes 1. 
and then when we get to here we get this one's zero and this one's one and then we get zero and one here and we get zero and one here and then we get zero and one here now from this we can derive a binary code for each of our letters in our frequency table so if we look for the letter s which is the most frequently occurring letter we see that the code will be zero zero so we put that in here and then the code for a which is the least frequently occurring item will be zero one zero zero and so on so having completed uh, transcribing the codes I've now got um, S can be represented by two bits and the most frequently uh, the least frequently occurring characters H and A can be represented by four bits so now what we can do is we can write out the original message but using the uh, codes derived from the Huffman tree and then that is basically what a message looks like if we concatenate all the codes together into a single binary digit. So our original uh, st a string of characters would need 140 bits to store and this one needs far fewer. So our original message was 140 bits and our compressed message is 49 bits which is about a 2.9 to 1 compression ratio. So this is the bit where most people kind of get a bit confused and think, well, OK, if we're not using a fixed length uh, bit to uh, store our letters, how do we know um, where one letter starts and when, when one letter ends? And the simple answer to the question is that we don't need to know that because every single code has got a unique prefix. So... So we look at the first binary digit, which is zero, and we look at our codes and we see that it might be this one, this one, this one, or this one, but it definitely can't be either of these two. So what we then do is we go back and we look at the next binary digit, which is zero, zero, and we see that the only uh, code that matches is S. So we know then that that must be S. So we then start again and we say, okay, well, the first binary digit is zero. Um, and we know that there are several codes that start with zero, but then the next one is zero, one. So uh, there are one, two, three codes that start with zero, one. So we then need to look at the next binary digit. So we're on the third one. 010 one, zero. and again we see that there are two possible uh, codes that might satisfy that so we need to look at a first a fourth bit and then we see that there's only one then that matches and then that therefore that must be h and then we kind of know that that's where the next one starts and the next one finishes so in a nutshell that's Huffman data compression. I'm going to follow this up with a uh, Python video where I show you how to go about uh, solving this as a coding problem. Hope you found this of interest and if you have please like, subscribe, share and comment. Thanks for watching.